Hey y'all, I need your help determining if I'm the antagonist in this awkward situation I found myself in. I work from home. Today, I was co-leading a work Zoom meeting when my story takes place. So by pushing the return on investment and diverting the capital gains into the next fiscal quarter, that should give us the leverage we need to boost the production cycle into overdrive. What do you think, Taylor? Maybe you should go get that. We can take a quick break. Thanks. Can I help you? I was just driving by your house and could see your large apple tree in the backyard filled with big juicy looking apples. I was wondering if I could come into your backyard to pick some for myself to take home? Er, right now is not a good time. I'm actually working. Nonsense. I won't have to bother you again. I just need you to unlock your back gate for me so I can pick the apples for myself. I want to make apple jam, you see. I can pick them while you are working. Um, not now. This isn't a good time. I really have to get back to my work presentation. Look, I was randomly driving by and I am not usually on this side of town and might not be again anytime soon. So it works best for me if I just go ahead and pick them now. At this point, I am worrying about my meeting and just getting irritated that she keeps pressing the matter. To be honest, I've always wanted a front door sign that reads unless you're Tom Hiddleston, please don't ring, knock, or bother me. So I get a bit creative. Fine, you can pick apples from my backyard. For $50. Are you joking? You should let me have them for free. There is no way you can eat all those apples. They will probably go to waste or rot in your yard. I was trying to do you a favor by taking them. You should actually pay me to take them. Look lady. You are a stranger to me. You want to be let onto my private property, in the middle of my work day, to take things from my yard. I'll let you do it, but it will cost you $50. Of all the selfish, greedy ways to behave. She was just mad I told her no. She huffed off to her car after giving me a rude hand gesture, and I was able to go back to work. But maybe I am the antagonist? I mean, a lot of the apples will go to waste, and she probably could have benefited from taking some of the apples off my hands. In years past, I've let friends and neighbors that I know come to pick apples, so it's not like I'm stingy about them usually. But, she wasn't treating me kindly for wanting something for free, in the middle of my work day, and was being so pushy, so I am not sure. What do you think? Am I the antagonist?